If you're wanting a MacBook Pro over a Windows PC, chances are hardcore gaming isn't your biggest priority, but with that said, Apple's new MacBook Pro with Touch Bar doesn't offer bad performance all the same. Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and in this video I decided to install Rocket League from my Steam library on my new MacBook Pro with Touch Bar to see how it performed, so let's go ahead and get started. So once again, the MacBook Pro is definitely not intended for gaming, but if you're going to spend close to $2,000 on a laptop, it better give you very good gaming performance. The MacBook Pro that I had scored in 9,261 on the Geekbench multi-core test, which is definitely better than the category average, and you are getting some pretty reasonable specs under the hood. My configuration is a 512GB onboard SSD, 8GB of 2133MHz LPDDR3 onboard memory, Intel Iris Plus graphics 650, and then also a 3.1GHz dual-core Intel Core i5 processor with turbo boost up to 3.5 gigahertz. Another hidden strength of the MacBook Pro when it comes to gaming is the display. You've got the Retina display which is standard in all of Apple's laptops, and even though the resolution didn't change from last year's MacBook Pro, the quality of the screen is definitely improved. It's 67% brighter with a maximum brightness rating of 500 nits, and then Apple's also promised higher contrast ratios which is definitely delivering on, and a 25% wider color gamut that now includes the P3 color space. Now needless to say, the MacBook Pro Touch Bar is going to get you some very good baseline performance. When I was playing Rocket League at its native resolution of 1440x900 with texture detail at high quality, render detail at high quality, and effects like motion blur, weather, and dynamic shadows turned on, I got frame rates that stayed pretty consistently in the 30s, scaling up to around 42 at one point and dipping down to 25. The only issue I had running Rocket League at these settings was the heat. Within just a couple minutes of gaming, the MacBook Pro was already whirring loudly, and it was reasonably hot on the bottom. While I probably could game with this in my lap, I feel like it would start to get more uncomfortable after a while. Now the real issues come into play when you do dial out the resolution past the equivalent of 1080p, that's when you start to run into stuttering, and it's a real pity because as I already said, the MacBook Pro's display is quite capable. A higher resolution needs a more powerful graphics card to push all those extra pixels though, so to do any gaming on the new Pro you'll need to tolerate standard settings. Things get even worse when you compare this MacBook Pro to other Windows laptops, most of which tend to be designed for performance. A quick search will find you a lot of 13 and 15 inch laptops around that $1500 mark, which have much more powerful graphics cards, and more RAM and storage as well. For a little extra weight, you can even get laptops with desktop level GTX 1070 or 1080 cards, which are hilariously better than what the MacBook Pro is offering. But when making these comparisons, it does remind you of what the MacBook Pro truly is, and it's not a gaming laptop. At this point, the MacBook Pro is as small as the MacBook Air used to be, and that means it's just a really powerful workstation for people to take with them on the go. It's very, very easy to just slip in a backpack, and you're not going to be getting the MacBook Pro because it offers the most cutting edge specs you're going to be getting it because it just has a really nice package in a very small form factor. With that said though, if you are looking to do some serious gaming, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the MacBook Pro. It is very expensive at around $2,000, and you can even find Windows Ultrabooks that are very thin and light, but still offer better performance than what you get on the MacBook Pro. With that said though, give me your opinions on what you think of the MacBook Pro's gaming performance in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think it's worth its cost. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,